Hi, I'm Kerry Ann Mendoza, I'm editor in chief of the Canary, and we're here on College Green in Bristol because Jeremy Corbyn is in town, my hometown, to do a rally to his supporters. And there are lots of rumours wafting around about these Corbynistas, so we wanted to get into the crowd and meet some people and find out why they support Jeremy Corbyn. Hi, my name's Josh, I'm 30 years old, I'm a self employed web designer in Bristol. I'm Emma, I'm 37, and I work for a homeless charity. I'm Dan, I'm 23. Um, I sell records. I'm Alex and I'm 28 and I live in Dursley and I work in homelessness and housing in Boston. So Corbyn is, sp is speaking right now and it's just a really incredible atmosphere. People are really enthusiastic, they're clapping. I just saw you know, cars are driving past and Cars are driving past and beeping and waving. I just, I've just never seen this for a for a UK politician in my lifetime. Just never, never seen it. What is it that's drawn you in to this? And how do you go? Okay, I'm, it's not enough just to kind of be a passive supporter. I actually want to get see the man speak, yeah. get involved in, in the party more. It, to be honest, like. I was of the opinion that I was never going to vote for Labour again. Um, I was done and dust as far as Labour was concerned. Jim, um, Tony Blair had, had just, you know, he'd, Tony Blair lied, millions of people died. Um, he took us into the Iraq War, he's introduced PFI, he's done all kinds of things which are completely against uh, the sort of true Labour belief. Um, and so when Jeremy Corbyn first started running for, um, that he said he was going to run for the leader, people were getting excited about it and I said, well, guys, don't get excited. Jeremy Corbyn, he's not going to be allowed to win, even if he is allowed to win, he won't be allowed to make any change in the Labour Party. Um, but it seems like he's, he's just fighting tooth and nail and he's got such a fan base, he's enthralled so many people uh, with his honesty and straight talking that maybe he can do it, you know? I'm excited, I'm, I'm fully behind him because he's the only person in the mainstream who a lot of these people feel that they can really trust. So Dan, why are you here tonight? I'm here to show support for a left and voice of Parliament. Um, I think Jeremy Corbyn um, is the voice of the voice of I used to be I used to be a member of the Labour Party and uh, I lapsed that lapsed when Edward the man was leader because I felt he wasn't really supportive of left parties or unions or anyone to, who was on that side of the party. So I think with Jeremy Corbyn as leader he's bringing um, the party back to that side. What brought you here this evening? Um, I, ju I think it's, it's a bit of a social revolution going, and so to not be here, it would be missing out in quite a big way. And what is it that kind of got you involved in supporting Jeremy Corbyn? So obviously yeah. his, his supporters are about as diverse as any other group of people. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. what was it that appealed to you personally? Yeah, well I mean I work in homelessness and housing and have done so for the last eight years. And for me, it's, it's seeing people day to day, you know, facing the very hard, raw impact of austerity and the Tory government. And really, you know, Jeremy Corbyn is our only home to for an actual alternative to this, to this government, to the way things have been. What was it that attracted you to, to Jeremy Corbyn's politics in the first place? Um, I suppose, yeah, he's like Anthony neoliberal stance for me. I was like, oh, somebody's actually against what I'm against. So that's great. So yeah, somebody that's actually left wing.